I'm going to do a really simple makeup today that's just a quick freshen up. This is the finished look and listen before you say it, I don't like the lips either, but I think it's the liner throwing it off. We'll talk about that in a little bit. I'm starting with some of Sally Hughes' Ring Light Eye Cream. And what I love about this is it's really quick. So you're not there all day blending it in. You can put your makeup straight on top of it. Then I'm using a really lightweight SPF 50 from L'Oreal Paris all over. Even though I have SPF in my CC cream, I always use a dedicated SPF first. This is a really lightweight SPF. If you wanna start wearing it every day but you don't want anything too rich I think you'd really like this one. Now let me just show you my skin for a moment because I want to use a lot of blusher today but my redness presents in a butterfly shape across the center of the face so what I want to do is create an even canvas and then put that pink and that rosiness back in just where I want to see it. Now I rarely use this shade but I'm going to use the It Cosmetics CC cream in fair light today because I don't have any tan on. Uh, usually I go for light medium because I always have tanning drops on my face and usually my neck um, but if you are a bit more fair it's nice I suppose to have different examples of what the colours look like and this would be fair light. Now it's really crucial if you're trying to build coverage I would say to use a really soft touch. You want to build that cover on your skin rather than rubbing it all around your face. Something I'll just mention is that this often looks quite golden on my phone but it's because of where I film um, so basically I film in a window that overlooks the garden and so because of that when the sun comes in and out you can actually see in my videos sometimes that judge by the wall at the back if the sun has come in or gone out a bit. Um, I don't like to use artificial lights because I think that when they're really bright they can sometimes airbrush pores, texture, things that I want you to see, things that are normal that we all have. And especially if I'm showing you how products work on those things, I, d I want you to see that in as full a context as you can. Um, I'm not the most tech savvy. I'm sure there's a way for me to have brilliant lights that won't do that. But the ones that I've got so far, I am literally like all the gear, no idea. Whenever I buy lights, I find that they don't give you an authentic finish on the makeup. So um, I know that looks a bit more golden. It doesn't in real life, but it's more important to me. Let me just tap the thing so I can zoom in that you see all of that. I'd rather you see that and I look yellow. I'm going to use some of the Vive Cream Bronzer on the same brush. You can actually see from the lid. What I do is I pick it up and then buff off the excess on the back there. I'm kind of just going to press a little bit of this in the outer parts of the face and kind of around here. And I'm pressing this on so that I don't lift any coverage that I've just painstakingly built. Painstakingly how dramatic. I'm literally putting a bit of makeup on. Another angel sent from above, Ruby Hammer, has just made these lovely new blusher sticks. Ruby needs no introduction, let's be honest. But one thing I love about Ruby, she's incredibly kind. She's one of the kindest people you've ever met in your life. And also she spends ages developing things and doesn't launch them until they're absolutely perfect. What I'm going to do is gently buff that in using uh, the brush that I used for everything else. See how it's just kind of softened the edge and made everything sit well together. I'm going to do the same on the other side and again I'm pressing this really gently like I want my rosiness in my complexion I just don't want it all over my face personally and one of the things I do get asked about a lot with rosacea is which blushes are going to work what will feel nice you wear whatever blusher you want you can wear anything it will look lovely on you and all I would say is if there are particular areas like mine would be the center of my face that bothers you when your redness flares up, just correct that and let the rosiness shine through everywhere else. I use a little bit of what's left down the bridge of the nose. That was actually quite a bit. <laughs> so let's um, calm that down a bit. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of Bye Bye Pores Powder from It Cosmetics to take down the shine in any areas that are a bit distracting. Um, for me, that tends to be down the centre of my face, around here. This area, I've started using um, the Bye Bye Under Eye Bags treatment that I'll show you in a separate video. 
but that is an area where my expression lines are a bit more um, active, should we say. So my makeup tends to gather there. So I do like to set that to prevent things um, sitting in there. But it's one of those things, to be honest, that I'm always going to use my expressions through the day. I just keep an eye on it and give it a little zhuzh as I go. Now I'm going to use some of Katie Jane Hughes' highlighter. And I actually have one of the more golden shades, which is light copper, and it's absolutely lovely. So I'm taking a tiny dot of the Hyper Shine Serum on the pan. I'm going to go quite soft with this, to be honest. Getting my brush in there, and then I'm going to really gently stipple this, just kind of through the high points of the face. Something I think makes a huge difference to this is the shape and size of the brush. It just makes it really easy to get your placement exactly where you want it, and in a really lovely, natural-looking shape. I used this for the first time yesterday, and it's so Moorish like I was still going three minutes later but it's so lovely. I saw Laura Capon wearing endless cacao so I bought endless cacao. I'm going to take a brown liner around the edge of my lips. Listen let's call a spade a spade. I've gone a bit OTT with that. And then I'm going to top that with more of a rosy lipstick. You know what, I let that dry, I made a cup of tea. It's not my favourite lip combo, but I think I'll just try the lip on its own tomorrow without the liner. Let me see as well if a bit of lip oil will calm that down. No. <laughs> and then as my final step, I'm gonna use Superhero Mascara from It Cosmetics. This is so volumising, and because I'm not wearing eyeshadow today, this will still make a statement of my eyes. And I know there's a few little spills on my upper lashes, but when that's dried, it's really easy to just buff away. I'm gonna set all of that into place with a setting mist. I've never used that before and I actually thought that that was something on the phone. Let me figure out what on earth has gone on there. This video has actually been such a disaster, hasn't it? If you never listen again to a word I say after this video, I won't blame you. Okay, I'm gonna rein it in. I always see people finish their video with their fragrances, so I'm gonna start showing you some of mine. I love fragrance. This is Febo Bronze, and I got it in this beautiful Brazilian boutique in Paris last year when I was there for my birthday. I was thinking, brilliant, no one's gonna have my Brazilian boutique fragrance from Paris, it's gonna be so special. And I found out they do actually sell it in Liberty. But this is a really lovely, creamy, cozy, um, almost like if butter was a fragrance, I would say. I was just looking, thinking I'd forgotten something. I'm just going to finish my eyebrows. 